Hey folks, it's Red Falcon, and you're watching episode 15 of my Let's Play Evil Crime Mercenary series. In our last episode, I showed you how to do... how to properly do a combat mission. Which, you know, only took me like 14 episodes to figure out myself. But, uh... <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But now we're in the Pearl System, and we need to land on the main trade planet... or main trade city on Planet Oasis. And if you recall from my... Oh, crap. Okay. Hit the wrong button. If you recall from my, um... Whoa. What is that? That's weird. Okay. Um, if you recall from my, uh... Earlier video on how to make money quickly, um, we spent a lot of time in the Pearl system. Going, uh, between the Pearl system, between, uh, the Oasis station and the, um, hidden planet. Well, now we're here, and this is the, I guess you could call it the last quest, but it's really technically the second to the last, um, quest. And so they want us to land on the planet. And so we're just gonna do a regular old landing sequence like we normally do. The only thing we have to worry about is um, possibility of enemy fighters. And uh, honestly, if you're stuck in the atmosphere, uh, just my if it's one fighter, throw all your power to shields and try to get behind them. If you can get behind them, you can just ah, here we go. If you can, um, if you can get behind them, you can just, uh, you know, unload your, uh, your weapons on the back of them and eventually destroy them. If it's multiple ships, honestly, uh, missiles, just lots of missiles. And get in space as best you can. Uh, these ships are not meant to f fight in the atmosphere. And they're they're not maneuverable at all. So just try to just get out in space. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. Okay, so we're just doing a regular approach. Nothing fancy. Our radar looks clear, so we're good. Avionics switched to planetary mode. All right, and we're gonna switch our ship to. IDS mode. Okay. And we're actually going to slow down a good bit. I know you really don't have to slow down, but I don't know. I liked. Alright. This is a really sharp angle, I realized. Still no hostiles on the radar. Eh, we'll just let her drift down. All right. Docking track to be engaged. Pearl is known as one of the most advanced systems in Evocron. Many of the military's classified research projects were done near the planet. Arfrock Prime, including the latest evoc and chimera spacecraft programs the orbiting planet and the systems are known for their advanced technology you'll often find unique items available here or hard to find elsewhere living here is expensive though expect to pay premium for fuel and repairs for your last assignment we'll test your air-to-air -air combat skills in a series of engagements except highlight the contract to begin now we can accept this contract here and fight them on the planet, or docking track to be disengaged. We can go up to the trading station, accept the mission there, and we'll get exclusively um, space fights, which I recommend doing. It's a lot easier to do it that way, and you'll just be banging your head on the keyboard trying to do it on the on the planet's surface. 
So unless you want that extra challenge, probably best to do it in space. Alright, so we're in space mode. I'm going to neutral pitch. I'm going to dock with the planet. Or, dock with the planet, dock with the station. Okay, so you guys done this before. And see, we get the same mission. Let's enter the station really quick. Oh, actually, I bought a license here, so you don't have to pay a docking fee here. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so we have um, three waypoints and a total of 33 fighters. Yeah, it's... It's a pain. And it takes a long time. So what I'm going to do is, um, oops. Oh. Let's sell these. Well, let's, yeah, let's sell these Exodus missiles. I'm going to show you guys something. The Excalibur pack. It takes up eight weapon slots, but um, the missiles regenerate. I think they regenerate every two minutes, but it fires um, eight missiles in rapid succession, and they usually lock on to a target after uh, they lock on to a new target after they've been destroyed. But the important thing is they regenerate, so we're going to try those out. And let's take a look at our crew. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Okay. So our science ops, he's back. So we're going to match him. And pay him a difference of, I don't know, we'll do 500. That'll give him some uh, some growing room here. Uh, we're going to keep this guy at the same. Actually, let's go ahead and increase his to... Let's double his salary so we can get his loyalty up. Okay, good. Double his salary so his loyalty will go back up to 100%. But they're, um, they're increasing. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so our loyalty looks good. Excellent. All right. Docking track. Docking track to be okay. All right. Um, we're gonna go ahead and accept that contract. Docking track to be disengaged. And we're gonna jump out of here because, yeah. Okay, so we're going to be fighting rebels. And that's what the Exodus missiles, uh, the uh, Excalibur missiles look like. And as you can see, this little counter, uh, 180 seconds that's uh, two and a half minutes, I think. I can't do math while I'm under fire, so you'll have to forgive me for that. But yeah, that's uh, um, their main um, benefit is the fact that they um, their their main uh, strong point is the fact that they. Uh, um, Regenerate. So you never have to go back and refuel. And uh, the problem is we're dealing with both rebels and navy shooting at us at once. So oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay, they're they're all they're all over me. Not cool. Not cool. Okay. Yeah, th this is this is ridiculous. Okay. Yeah, this is... This is nuts. Like I said, these missions aren't easy. Now, what you can do... Um, you can pacify the system. And what I mean by that is... Uh, if we go to a news console here. Um, if you do a lot of Navy missions, eventually you'll get them to like you. And so, um, it'll make this mission a lot easier. 
a lot easier. Because right now we're just, I mean, it's just a big clump of red, and we, just, I, I don't, it's difficult to, uh, to pick out our uh, targets. So, yeah, it, it's a mess. So let's try to do another run or so. And basically, just keep doing what you were doing before. Try to outmaneuver them. Okay, we got what? We got 40 something seconds left. Make sure you bring pl plenty of countermeasures. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Trying to get to this Leviathan, it is not working out for me. Okay, boom. All right. All right. So you can do it. You can do this mission several ways. Um, you can do it the hard way, like I was doing. You could. Um, before accepting this mission, you can spend hours and days um, um, getting your reputation with the Navy up. And mainly, you just need to do Navy missions. So do a lot of Navy missions, get get your reputation up with them, where they'll actually help you defeat the re Renegades. Um, you could bring some wingmen, like get a ton of wingmen with you and go out there and tell them to attack hostiles. You can do a combination of those. Or, if you got some money, a lot of money, um, hold on a second, where's, where are they? Hmm. Okay, hold on, I'm going to uh, shut the video off here and try to find something. I'll be back. All right, I'm back. I had to go to a couple stations to pick up some things. But uh, as I was saying, yeah, you can do those like other ways you can do this mission. Or you can do it the easy way. And pick up some fulcrum torpedoes. Yeah. We're going to go nuclear. So. Let's go ahead and um, pick up that contract. Docking tractor disengaged. Alright, let's pick up that contract and... Docking tractor beam disengaged. So I was saying, let's pick up that contract. Now, there's an art to using these. First things first. You want to be traveling faster than... Um... Then two uh, two thousand. And then get to about two thousand from them. Because the uh, it the torpedo self detonates at about like two thousand. And make sure you're um boom. Yeah, make sure you're uh, pretty far away when it blows. Now as you can see that didn't quite kill all of them, so. Oh, never mind, it did. Contract accepted. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Let's see, Navy, Navy. It almost took all of them out. Oh, there they are. Leviathan. Okay, so we can take these two guys out. Shouldn't be a problem. 
They were out of they were out of the blast radius. Alert, inbound missile. Okay, so we can take out two. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, when I did this on my other character, um, or my other pilot, I did it in one shot. So, no problem though, we can take out two. Take out this Levi this uh, Centurion first. But yeah, if you got like what was that? Two, four, six, a minimum of six million credits, you can uh, you can do this minute you can do this uh, You can do it the easy way. I picked up an extra one because because I wanted to. Uh, hopefully, I would need it first of all, and that way I could sell it at the um, the hidden planet and make uh, make back some of my money anyway. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, baby, come on. Almost there. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like the Navy and the Rebels are like, oh, let's put away our differences and kill the player. Yeah. It's not like I'm wanted or anything. Come on. Power to the shields here. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought. And there's only two of them. Ugh. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna pause this to save some video room. Okay, I'm back. Okay, that um that objective's complete. Come on, jump. Okay, good. We're jumped. Okay. Okay, same deal as before. Alert, inbound missile. Alert, inbound okay. missile. Okay, wait until we've got some range on them. And fire away. left. Okay, so let's see who's left. There should be... Okay, Centurion's Navy. Not worried about him. The Transport's Navy. Leviathan's Navy. Uh, 
That guy's navy. Ah, rebel. There we go. There's the last guy. He's in a guardian. We should be able to take out this lone guardian. done? Okay, good. Alright, come on, Guardian. Okay. Full power to the shields. Get out of here. Okay. Good. We got sufficient energy. Alright. Let's jump to our last waypoint. Okay. Pick the closest one. next? Star Master's Navy, Hunter's Navy, Leviathan's Rebels, that guy's Navy. Okay, let's take out this last Leviathan. For some reason he wasn't in range. Okay, there's the Leviathan. Targeting computer locked. Looks like he's running away. Well, that's good. That'll at least isolate him from the other ones. Okay. Whoa, cruiser. I just want to take out this Leviathan. I'm doing you a favor, Navy. Grief. Okay. I promise, though, all this is worth it in the end. Leviathan, get in range so I can take you out. Let me get this Guardian. Or Leviathan. I don't understand the Navy, you know? I'm actually doing them a favor. They never read The Art of War? The enemy of my enemy is my friend? I mean, seriously. 
Good read. It's a short book, too. Okay, come on. His shields are still up. And I really don't want to fire a Fulcrum Torp right now. Because I'll take out a ton of navy, so... And I really don't want to take out the navy. They're mad at me enough as it is. I don't want to, you know... I wonder though, is that Mammoth a member of my... My squadron? Or my fleet? I think he might be. I don't know, either way though, that mammoth is helping, so. He's okay by me. Okay, and I'm burning a ton of fuel trying to catch up with this Leviathan. Come on, Leviathan. You just stay in range for a good 10 seconds. Should be enough. Come on. Try adjusting my, uh, there we go. Oh, God, I wish I had a missile right now. Okay, let's try this. Oh crap, I'm out of, I'm out of countermeasures, great. We almost got him. Yeah, I'm completely out of countermeasures, so... My best bet... Thank you. Contract complete. Let's get out of here. Uh, looks like a nice, quiet piece of space. Let's get out of here. Okay, so, contract complete. Okay, now... We'll count on you. We'll provide you with a closely guarded secret in one of our operations outside of charted space. Your last objective is to travel to a hidden planet at the edge of the solar system. The planet is located about 100 sectors away from here, traveling to high uh, SX sectors to find it. While the exact location isn't disclosed in this message, the skills you've demonstrated will prove... will far prove the... Sur bleh. It, yeah, anyway, um, once you find this planet, you'll land at surface and you'll find your reward. Okay, so our last objective is to find the hidden planet. Now... If you've already seen my video on how to make money fast, um, the coordinates for it are in there. But if you don't want a spoiler, I can show you the uh, um, the way to find it by following their directions. So um, basically, he's talking about high um, SX sectors. So right there. So if you'll notice, um, yeah, let's zoom all the way out. Basically, it means to go east. Because if you notice, we go this way, the SX numbers get bigger. We go this way, they go down. Of course, they stay the same if we go up or down. So um, basically, just go this way and, you know, um, go as far as your fulcrum drive will allow. Which, let's see, it's like, what, one, two, three, four, five, right about there. Okay, hold on. One less than that. Okay. Uh, also, I highly suggest getting a class five fulcrum drive for this. It'll save you a ton of time. So, anyway, um, full power to the uh, weapons here. And one, two, three, four, five. And just stay to the high S, and you'll get there eventually. Um, you also might want to have a science officer, a uh, science officer on board. They can also help you locate the planet, which I believe I have. Yeah, I got a psyops. Oh, he's at a. Um... Yeah, he's at good loyalty. Okay, cool. 
Anyway, so that's basically how you, how you find it the honest way. Uh, I'm going to cut the video here, and I'll meet you on the hidden planet. Okay, and I'm back, and we're currently descending on the planet, or the hidden planet, and we're about to dock with the um, Trade City and get our reward. And we have zero visibility because of the storm, which never lets up. I swear, it's like Seattle. Alright, and... Congratulations on completing this quest. We have credited your account with 50 million credits, and you've earned an increase in your rating, which raises the amount you will be offered for contracts. So, yeah. We just made bank. Let me go ahead and pay my docking fee. Sell that. Sell that. Fill my tank. And... Wow, yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of money. <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Um, that's it. That's, um... That's uh, the, uh, that's all the uh, guild missions for the game. So now, with uh, 50 million credits, a fully upgraded ship, sky's the limit. Should I say space is the limit, really? Yeah. You can do, uh, do whatever you want now. Avionics switch to space mode. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'd like to thank you for watching this series. Um, I hope it helped you a little bit, or, you know, you are at least entertained, or, you know, got a good laugh out of it and everything. But uh, this will be the last episode from my Evil Crime Mercenary series. Um, we came a long way from just learning the basics of flight mechanics to taking on, you know, 33 ships at once. <laughs> And, uh, you know, trade routes, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I think it's about time to, to end this series. It's been going on for a while. But, uh, anyway, I'd like to thank all of you for watching this series. Um, if you enjoyed it, please click the like button, leave a comment below, let me know, um, what you thought about it, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, what can I what can I what I can improve on all that fun stuff and I'm by no means done doing space combat games I plan on doing some more um, once I get a joystick and I can like properly play these games so uh, look forward to that and uh, yeah I just want to say thanks for uh, for everything for commenting for liking um, I like to give a shout out to the uh, Star Wrath 3D games forums. Those guys over there are great, and they're really helpful. If um, if something in my videos, if I don't cover something in my videos, or you need to ask like a more specific question that I can't answer, go to the forums. They have helpful staff there, and well, not staff, but fans. <laughs> really, really helpful people. Really passionate about this game. Really passionate about um, space combat games in general. Um, you know, they're just just a really good group of people. And they really welcomed me with open arms, and, you know, they, they helped me with things. So, um, anyway, I guess, uh, I guess that's it. I guess I'll, uh, end this video by, uh, flying off into the unknown. So, till next time, this is Red Falcon. And this has been my 